Hey guys, this is Apple Gamer 247. I'm here to give you guys a review today of the USB Geeks wireless handheld keyboard and touchpad. This is a single dollar item on USB Geeks that is a USB uh, keyboard and also doubles as a touchpad for uh, desktops, laptops, netbooks, Macs, PCs, whatever you have. Um, so basically, it serves very well. Um, what's included in the box is the USB keyboard, which is right here. The um, included receiver by USB Geek and also a um, standard USB to mini USB there is, uh, um, connector so you can charge it. Um, it's a really good product it runs on um, it, it's compatible with um, Windows, Windows Vista, Windows XP, Windows 7, uh, Mac OS X and Linux so it's um, very there's no like compatibility issues as far as I know to in this review. Now, um, the, going down to the design of the keyboard, it's very clean. Um, it's basically it does what it does. You get your touchpad up here. The touchpad is very good. It's probably one of the best touchpads I use. It's nice and responsive. You um, you can do your single click and um, just by tapping it or the double click if you have two fingers. But the nice thing I would like to see is some of the multi-touch gestures. Um, that maybe Apple or some other companies have included with their touchpads like do this to zoom or this to zoom in um, you can rotate so I like to see some multi-touch functionality also the keyboard is pretty good um, I don't really like this type of keyboard it's like a tactile keyboard like cell phone like keys and you also get your two right and click left and right click buttons right here and the orange buttons inside the some of the keys are the numbers and you press the SF key which is right there to enter them on the top you get four indicator lights that include that signal for battery battery um, charging um, charger um, power um, dead battery and caps lock so a good variety of keys there on the bottom you get a the USB um, the USB end so you can charge it and the on and off switch um, now the main problem now the also the thing I would like to see is two versions of this um, a Mac version and a PC version if that makes any sense or a driver um, for Mac and PC the driver would I I've suggested driver should include um, keys you can program the keys to do certain shortcuts see on the Mac you want to do spaces or expose or dashboard on Windows, you can make it close all windows or show the desktop whatever um, neat new features are in the new windows. So a nice driver download would be nice if USB geeks can create one. Other than that, um, make two versions of this one with um, some shortcut keys on it. But other than this, this is pretty good. Um, nothing on the sides. On the bottom, there's your serial number. Um, the receiver, this is a, just a plain old receiver. It basically looks like a flash drive. And right there is the included um, LED light, and that's the rest of it. So I'm actually do I'm actually gonna um, show a demonstration of this in action. Um, I'm gonna stop camera uh, and go right to my screen, and then um, I will give you guys my final final thoughts from there. I have the keyboard set up here, and I'm just gonna demonstrate of um, just the touchpad and the keyboard. So um, if you're on Mac, um, you will have a setup instructional um, thing you have to go through. What I found with that is that it messes up um, some of the keys on the keyboard. So um, I recommend skipping that and just using as a um, plug and play. And this is plug and play by the way. There's going to be um, little compatibility issues like I said in the um, other clips. So I am using the touchpad. It's nice and responsive. It does jitter around a little bit but um, there's really no um, deal. If I click, click on the touchpad, um, it brings up the um, when it brings up the contextual menu, and you can pick what you want. And if I wanted to go, say, the Safari, I would I could either tap it on the touchpad or hit the um, button, and I can go to um, the internet. And then um, I'm gonna demonstrate the keyboard. So let's say I want to go to my website. Now I do have to say that the keyboard has to um, does take some time getting used to. Oop. 
Oops. Now the one thing I would like to also see is the that the um the SF key um wasn't have to press um if you press down twice on like a number button it didn't um do um any of the other buttons so I would like to see that in the next um maybe may release so let me press um let me hit enter so here we are at the uh my website here and you can just um. Um, you can just browse around, you can touch on stuff, uh, here's my daily booth page, um, so you can go back, and as you guys notice, I'm not using my mouse or keyboard at all. Hey guys, this is... But I do find that this is, um, that clicking on, like, video links is very hard to do. Um, as you can see, it brought an icon over to the desktop over there, but, um... So it's mainly used to be on a flat surface. So if you want to scroll down, you gotta um, do sort of two fingers, and you gotta scroll down through the page and stuff like that. So yeah, this is just a brief overview of the keyboard. Now I will have a little picture-in-picture um, -picture effect of using this on my laptop with um, Ubuntu Linux 10.001. Uh, and just, just demonstrate how this works on that. So, um, back to the camera, I'll give you guys my final thoughts. Alright guys, that was just the demonstration of this thing in action. As you can see, um, it works pretty good. Um, there's little no um, problems with it. Um, the one other um, thing um, I could see is maybe having a touchpad um, drive or two so you can change the sensitivity of it. But that's um, something a little minor. But this is probably just more geared towards the living room, the Meteor Box Entertainment PC uh, slash Mac. Um, that you can hook this up, um, make it use as your keyboard, go on uh, Hulu, watch the latest TV show, or watch a movie without um, having to have a wireless keyboard or mouse. So this is a perfect equivalent, and all that you do to charge it is um, plug in the um, little um, cable that's provided for you. So yeah, um, so so far I give this product a 9.5 out of 10 for just a few flaws um, with the touchpad and some of the buttons on the keyboard and the Mac and PC driver issue. But other than that, I think it's a really nice product. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video.